and I am very excited, but also very nervous. Derek was like, we absolutely can get in here. I have my dirty balloon <laughs> and I would absolutely do it all over again, yelling about it until 4.30 in the morning. Hello and welcome to my State Champs and Grayscale concert weekend vlog thing. I am very excited. So today, December 10th, I am very soon actually in like the next hour leaving to go to Albany, New York to go see State Champs at their very last stop on their Kings of the New Age tour slash Frozen Fest and I am very excited but also very nervous. It's my first time seeing State Champs in five years headlining and I am also meeting them for the first time today which a little bit nervous about that they are going to perceive me and I have to like talk to them at all but it's okay it's gonna be good. I hope. Um, but yes, so I am leaving soon to go see them, and originally I was only going to be seeing them this weekend, but then Grayscale posted that they were doing a holiday show, a holiday hometown show in Philly, and it is today, but then they added a second date, and because I have no self-control, I, with no plan of how I was getting to Philly from Albany, nor where I was staying in Philly slash who I could potentially stay with in Philly. Bought a ticket. <laughs> and so I'm going to see Grayscale tomorrow in Philly, um, throwing myself on a train real early in the morning. And yeah, so that's happening. I'm very excited. I am going to meet a lot of people that I really only know from Grayscale Twitter. Um, so I'm going to meet some of the people that I have shouted out a few times at least in these videos like Missy and Sammy and very many other people and I get to see a few of the people that I met at Grayscale Boston over the summer again and I'm very excited to see them again as well um, but yeah I just want to try my hardest to film as much of it as I possibly can and document the experience because it's probably the most chaotic thing <laughs> that I've done when it comes to concerts this year. Sure I've gone to New Jersey basically every single month for a concert but like this is crazy. Like, I have never, like, bought a ticket this year to a show without thinking about, like, where I'm staying, how I'm getting there, whatever, all that sort of stuff before buying the ticket. Like, never done that. But this year, I was like, I'm gonna do it, <laughs> apparently. Um, literally only like Grayscale for like a year and they already have me doing dumb things, but it's fine. But yeah, I just wanted to get my vlog started before we left. Again, I have no clue how long this is going to be, how much footage I'm really going to have of this whole weekend, um, but I'm gonna try my hardest because as I said, I'm meeting a bunch of friends tomorrow, not today. I don't know anybody who's going today to stay champ, so I'm kind of completely flying solo, but I'm excited nonetheless. And I wanna try and document it if I can, so we'll see how this ends up. But yeah, I just wanted to get everything started. And yeah, I need to go finish packing my last second things. And then I don't know what you're gonna see next, but um, that's all for now.
videos on but um yeah stay chance last night was amazing i'll probably talk after i get home about it like i normally do for way too long um but yeah it's like 7 30 in the morning i barely slept last night which is fantastic <laughs> Um, but yeah, we have to leave basically right now to go to the train station so I can make my way to Philadelphia to go see Grayscale now. So yeah, there's that. I'm wearing my Phyllis Shams hoodie, of course, because why not? Um, but yeah, I'm really tired. <laughs> okay, bye. Twice my weight, I look like a total bitch, it sucks. <laughs> then you come over, 700 pounds, no problem, it's like, okay, I don't even know why I fucking come here. Bro. I don't know. People talk at shows, people say, I just talk about my friends and shit, and we have breaks like this. I don't know. We fucking love you, thank you for being here. Thanks for dealing with me.
All right, so I am back home from the concerts now. I've actually been home for like two days. It's three days after the Grayskill concert, so it's the 14th. Um, but whoa, I still can't believe that any of that happened this weekend. Oh my God. Um, but yeah, also, as you can see from the clips that were before all of this, I didn't do the greatest job at filming anything in the moment uh, on both the concert days. So I'm back to do my typical talking for absolutely way too long about the experiences after the fact. So starting with State Champs on Saturday, who I saw first, like I said in my little intro clip that I filmed before I left, I was super nervous to meet them because I've never met them before and I just always get super anxious and stressed about doing any like VIP experience where you get to meet the artist. Um, but of course it ended up being completely fine. They were so, so nice. And when I walked up to them, RSG gave me a high five, which really hurt because my hands were so cold from standing outside in 30 degree weather. And then the rest of them gave me fist bumps. And then RSG and Evan were like gawking over my shoes because I was wearing my sparkly Doc Martens as I always do. They were like, oh my god, like those are so cool. I love your boots. And I was like, oh, thank you so much. Whatever. And then, you know, they asked me how I was, all that sort of thing. And then I asked them really quick. I was like, hey, can we do this for the picture? And Derek was like, we absolutely can get in here. Um, so that was really exciting. I didn't initially plan on like doing any sort of special pose for my picture with them. But at the last second, I figured that I probably should do that just because it's kind of a running joke that they're like everyone's favorite K-pop group now because RSG likes ATs, made a whole TikTok about them. And part of the VIP gifts are a light stick for state champs and trading cards which are basically just photo cards with the members on them so i was like oh my god i have to ask them to do that so i'm really excited that they were excited <laughs> to do that for the picture um and i honestly just laugh every time i see my picture with them because it's just so perfect like i love it so much after you got your picture taken you just kind of hung off to the side and they had seltzer pong set up for you to play like while you were waiting for everyone to get their pictures done because there were a lot of us for frozen fest there was about 80 people but then also while we were in line like waiting for getting our pictures done with state champs one of their crew members was coming around and giving everyone a little colored bead necklace and so it was for game after everyone had their pictures done and that game was it's like there's a bunch of treats and little things like wrapped in a million layers of plastic wrap and so one person starts ripping it open and while they're doing that the person right next to them has two die dice <laughs> and they're trying to roll doubles and once that person gets the doubles the person with the ball has to stop unwrapping it pass it over to the person who rolled the doubles and then the dice go to the next person and this just keeps going like that and whatever falls out when you're unwrapping everything you get to keep so we did that in all four teams and i ended up on rsg's team which was fun and we took forever for this game i got like a few little candies and stuff from that and then someone got a gift card and i think the big like last thing that was in the very end was i think like a certificate or like thing that said that you could get anything that you want from the merch table for free maybe i don't know i was only half listening at that point because i was like oh well it's not gonna come back around to me so i don't really care um and i was also just kind of looking around to see where the rest of the members were because they were kind of lingering around at this point but i ended up hopping in line to go talk to rsg because i needed to ask him a very important question and that was, have you listened to Stray Kids yet? We had texted on their community number about how he still listens to them and he wanted one more group to listen to. And I suggested Stray Kids, of course, because hello. And he was like, oh, you're like the hundredth person to suggest them to me. Um, but when I asked him, has he listened to them yet? He said, no, not yet. And he was talking about it with someone in Boston the day before and like someone had made him a playlist. So he promised me that on his flight, after the show that he would listen to them so that was exciting and we got to talk about how they were in Australia at the same time as Chan and Felix and I was like see it's a sign like you need to listen to Stray Kids like I don't know what to tell you and we got a picture as well and then 
it was kind of done like they all kind of left because the show was close to starting that was that that was the vip experience um i actually haven't looked at the cards that i got and i also didn't look at the light stick either so i'm gonna do that right now it came in this little drawstring bag it came with batteries so i definitely could have used it during the show but i <laughs> did not do that i was gonna put it together and then i just didn't feel like it so i left it in the bag but it changes colors Ooh, this is nice it's like super sturdy okay i wasn't expecting this yeah it's super nice i'm not gonna put the batteries in it but yeah oh my god i'm obsessed with this i was like this was a selling point for me. I was like, should I buy their VIP? Like, should I go for it? And then I saw that the light stick was part of it. And I was like, okay, I need it. I need that. So now I have a state champs light stick. I love that for me. Um, okay, it's actually getting super dark. So I'm gonna go turn a light on and then we can look at my trading cards, AKA photo cards. <laughs> um, okay, so this lighting sucks even more actually than just the natural light, but we're gonna have to deal with So that is someone that lives near me and they walk down my street like every day at any given time, scream singing all the time. So that's what that was. I don't know if you could hear that, but I definitely could. Oh my God. What was I even saying? I don't remember. Um, but yes, we're going to look at my trading cards now. Um, they are in the bottom of the backpack. Oh, yeah, this is the little lanyard. It just looks like this on both sides um, So there's that And then I also have my necklace from the game and then my ticket my bracelet and The photo cards are just on the bottom. Oh cool. So here's Derek's That's what it looks like on the front and then on the back it has like stats and like information about him so it says Derek Descanio position vocals hometown Albany New York aka Steez favorite song to play live criminal then a little did you know he wrote the song if I'm lucky when he was just 15 years old <laughs> and then on the bottom career stats clothing labels one hats yes stage wedges climbed 14,893 people invited to his party everybody but you so that's what the back of his looks like which is so cute i didn't know it said all that on the back i thought it was just gonna be like maybe the tour logo or something but that's really cute and then there's rsgs and his also has those on the back so it says position base hometown westland michigan question mark is that mi i don't know aka rsg aka spinning man a favorite song to play live is frozen did you know before joining state champs he was a pizza delivery driver until his car was stolen on the job oh damn that's crazy um career stats stage spins infinity vintage tees all of them unpublished tiktok drafts 382 live interviews thrown up at one so that's fun there's that on the back i don't think it's focused at all oh there we go and then Tyler's looks like that. His is Position Guitar, Hometown Albany, aka Tysol. I think that's how you pronounce that. I really don't know. Favorite song to play live, Everybody But You. Did you know? Why is it written in orange? I can't read this. Oh, he shit his pants on the way to the first ever state champ show. Great. Um, career stats, picks thrown, 3,902, head bangs, five. 118,420 faces melted 3,902 pants shot at least one amazing love that for him and then last but not least is Evans can you hear this person singing I am gonna scream um yeah there's the front of his and then his position drums hometown Albany aka Evan Ambro uh favorite song to play live is Frozen did you know he once ended deadly conversation early at a show they didn't play it again for over a year i saw his instagram post about that um oh, here he comes again anyway career stats sticks tossed 2106 cats acquired two sets smiled through nearly all that's so true i could kind of see him smiling oh my god 
god, this is insane. <gasps> okay, anyway, certified driver's license, soon. <laughs> so, there's that. There's the back of it. Super cute. I love these cards. These are amazing. Genuinely, I love that they did this. They are truly my favorite K-pop group. Yeah, so... Where was I before I started showing the trading cards and the light stick and everything? Um, talking to RSG. Yeah, so I talked to him and I was one of the last people to do so because by the time we started talking, they had turned off all the lights pretty much and they had started letting the regular GA people in because they were, I think, a little bit behind for the VIP and whatnot. Um, so I just found myself a little spot on the way left side of the barricade so I couldn't really see hmm, the left side of the stage or like their right my left because there was a curtain there but that's totally fine um, I didn't really want to be in the middle because obviously that's where a lot of the action happens aka crowd surfing and whatnot and I was feeling like kind of gross just from the like adrenaline kind of going away and like not being stressed anymore like I had such a bad headache afterwards because I had panicked so much beforehand um so I was feeling kind of nasty so I was really glad that there was like a tiny little spot on the very corner of the barricade and I could just kind of chill um so I chilled and tried to just not go too hard during any of the openers um I did go a little bit crazy for Young Culture obviously because I love them and they performed a lot of my favorite songs and I filmed all of them I think but yeah they were super good and it was good to see them live as well once state champs came on I was actually feeling a lot better but yeah as per usual I don't really want to like run through the whole set because it was long um but yeah it was super good and of course I filmed a decent amount of it and I posted those videos on my concert channel already but yeah the show was so so fun it was so great to see them again they were performing a lot of my favorite songs and it was just a lot of fun and they had like smoke I guess that like blasted through a lot of the songs and then Derek had like his own like smoke gun kind of thing that they would give him sometimes um, so that was fun it didn't reach over to my side but that's totally fine and they added I think a couple extra songs that they didn't play at other dates I think they added um, crying out loud and they added ordinary Christmas as part of the encore so that was fun and then when they sang half empty one of their crew members Gail I think it was she came out and sang Chrissy's part for that song and she did an awesome job it was really cool um, like seeing her singing on the stage and just like getting so into it so that was really cute um, I don't have it on video because they wanted us to put our flashlights on so that was fun um, but yeah it was just such a good show during Frozen I think it was they had balloons that were like hanging over the middle of the room and they released those and there was a bunch that didn't make it like into people's hands or just had gotten bopped and they were in between the stage and the barricade and so at the end of the show the security guards were trying to like give people water just because they had extras under the barricade and I was like no I'm okay actually can I have a balloon instead because there was like a bunch right in front of us and so <laughs> I have my balloon it's very dirty because it was on the ground um, but it says state champs presents frozen fest 2022 I don't know if you can see that at all yeah but yes I have my dirty balloon <laughs> and I was like very proud of myself I was like hell yeah I got my balloon I don't know what I'm gonna do with it probably just gonna let the air out and then keep it I don't know um, but yeah there was that and that was the end of the state champ show and then I just walked across the street to my hotel and could not go to bed for the life of me I could not fall asleep I was so like hype about that show and everything that I just could not fall asleep which was not great and then of course once I was finally able to fall asleep and kind of get some sleep after the state champ show it was time to go to the train station and go to Philly so I got to Philly around 1 30 in the afternoon I think and of course the minute that I got there <laughs> it started pouring with rain so that was fun I got to the venue and I met with my friends Em and Ashley who I met at the Grayscale Boston date in August over the summer and we real quick ran my bags to Em's car and then we just sat and chatted in line and I got to see some other people that were also at the Boston date for Summer Dream Tour 
Um, but yeah, we just kind of sat and got rained on <laughs> pretty much for a very long time. Em and Ashley showed me pictures and videos that they had gotten from night one and they were telling me about things that happened at the shows because obviously I couldn't go to night one since I was at state champs and that was overwhelming but very fun and then as more people started getting in line and arriving I finally got to meet some of my friends that I also mentioned in the intro um, Sammy and Missy and I also met some other people that um, I know from Twitter I didn't get to meet everybody which is really sad um, I saw some people like from a distance or like I just talked really quickly with some of the other people from Twitter that I know um, but I didn't get to see like everybody that I wanted to or I did see them but I was like too afraid to go talk to them because I was afraid that they might not like recognize me <laughs> since I don't post a lot of pictures of my face on Twitter or like if I do it's covered by a mask or like my phone um, if it's a selfie or something so I was just worried that like some people wouldn't recognize me and be like who are you you know um, but it was still really great to finally meet Sammy and Missy in person and get to talk to them because I've talked to them for so long just on Twitter so like seeing them in person and like getting to hug them and just like be with them in person was crazy so I'm really glad that we finally got to meet after talking online for so long. At some point during the very long time that we were outside we also saw Grayscale arrive and start you know like unloading their U-Haul and so we just watched from our spot in line. We were like a little bit further back from the venue so we weren't blocking any doors or whatever um so we just kind of sat on the ground and like peered over and we're watching them like go back and forth um dallas walked by a few times on the other side of the street and then closer to when they were going to let us in vaughn came and he was walking by just to say hi to everybody which was super nice like he didn't have to do that um but he did and that was awesome and some people were taking pictures with him sammy took a b-reel with him which i watched happen which is so funny i don't think there's anything else from before the show it was just a lot of sitting in the rain and being cold and talking with people um but yeah so basically they brought us in at seven and my friends and i because we were right at the front of the line we got the center barricade which was crazy and again i'm not gonna run through the whole show um but the openers were both really good it was the wildlife and nightly and i had listened to one the wildlife song before this because it was sammy's favorite and i was like okay i will listen to at least this one um and they played that one it's blood orange go listen to it and i enjoyed their whole set it was really fun i like the sound of their music so i definitely want to go check them out and i will go listen to the playlist that sammy made for me and then nightly was next and i really enjoyed their music as well and i have had one of their songs on repeat for the past day and a half at this point dirty white chucks altered my brain chemistry truly so yeah i really enjoyed both of the openers and just was having so much fun i also felt gross during this whole situation just from the like adrenaline and the stress of like <sighs> figuring my way around philly and like getting myself to the venue and whatnot and then just making sure everything was all good with that but again by the time grayscale came on i was feeling better i wouldn't say like a plus but like better um it wasn't super bad or anything like i was handling it fine um but yeah <laughs> grayscale was real rough um at some points i'm definitely still very sore and still finding new bruises like every single day since then there have been some pictures posted like from the show and one of them you can just see like me and my friends just like fighting for our lives squished between the security guards or like underneath the security guards a little bit because there's so many surfers at some points and i would absolutely do it all over again this was a fun show and i had fun regardless of being smushed but yeah i don't know i really like the set list and they played a lot of my favorite songs and i tried as much as i could to get anything of those i feel like it just went by like super super quickly they only talked for a tiny tiny bit during the middle of the show and i got a little bit of it they were talking about like exercising because colin was saying something like his shirt didn't fit right anymore like he felt like his shirt was gonna rip open or something and then he started ranting about how like <laughs> he looks pathetic in the gym next to vaughn or something and i got a little bit of that on video i got him calling himself a little bitch um so a plus for me filming that 
and just deciding yeah let me let me turn on my video right now <laughs> but yeah it, the show just went by like super quickly and then they were off stage and gone and then both of my friends got a set list and one of my friends also got one of Vino's drumsticks and Venti's picks and then we just kind of stood around and Vaughn was in the back of the floor and he was talking with people and so we went and we talked with him and we got pictures with him and then we got into a line that we thought was the merch line for Grayscale but it turns out that it was actually the line to buy merch from the wildlife and like talk to them and get pictures with them so I missed out on the chance to get one of the signed posters for the holiday show but yeah and then we finally made our way outside after a really long time of waiting because we did stop and talk with the wildlife members for a little bit and one of my friends got some merch from them um but yeah we just went outside finally and we were waiting across the street to see if any of them of grayscale would come outside and see if we could talk with them maybe a little bit more um, if it was Vaughn again or just talk with them in general if it was someone else and get pictures and whatnot um, and so eventually we got to meet Colin really quickly before he dipped and went wherever he was going um, it was just super quick we didn't really talk very much because we were we felt bad uh, we didn't want to like keep him for too long because we knew he was trying to leave so we were like we are so sorry but can we please get a picture with you and he was like yeah, absolutely no problem um and he had stuff that like people had given him like other people who had met him they gave him like reese's take fives and a duck thing and he tried to put it down and we were like no actually can we have that in the pictures like it's just so funny like can we please and he's like okay sure why not um so we got pictures with him again didn't really talk very much and then he was like, all right, thank you so much for coming. Thanks for your support. Have a great night. Get home safe. And then he went around the corner and was done. And we went and we left. And we went back to Ashley's apartment and <laughs> screamed <laughs> about the experience for like two and a half hours. Like we were just looking through all of our pictures and all of our videos and like sh comparing like what we had and just yelling about it until 4.30 in the morning. Um, which was not great because we had to get up early to leave for Em and I to get home. So that was fun. But yeah, that was that was the experience seeing State Champs and Grayscale this weekend. I still haven't fully processed that it's happened. And on the train ride home on Monday, I was getting so emotional, probably because I only slept for like two hours after the show. Um, but just like being tagged in a million posts from all the people that I was hanging out with in line and had taken pictures with and had gotten to meet like everyone was making their posts and being like I'm so glad like we got to meet each other and whatever and I just I genuinely had to like try not to cry on the train and honestly I'm like still a little bit emotional about it I just haven't cried about it yet I probably will later but it's fine but yeah it was it was really nice to finally meet some of my friends that I've been talking to for so long on Twitter and it's because of Grayscale that I got to meet them um, so yeah I don't know I'm just really glad that I very impulsively bought this ticket to go to this show and they said something to someone I don't know about making these shows like an annual thing so if they do that I will definitely be going to Philly every year now I think <sighs> but yeah that was my experience seeing both state champs and Grayscale this weekend and those were my last concerts for the year and maybe for a while so <sighs> a little bit emo about that but it's okay that is all for this video and i will see you in my next one